Hello everyone, a wonderful day to all of you. I just want to say thank you to all my old subscribers. Thank you to all my new subscribers. How is everyone doing today? Today I am going to be doing a step-by-step -step tutorial. So grab your snack, grab a pen and a piece of paper so that you can take note to all the steps that I am going to be presenting to you today. I'm going to show you how I mix my paint. I'm going to show you all the tools and the supplies that is necessarily needed for you to be successful in doing your first fluid art painting. So stay tuned. Don't forget to please like, share, comment, and also subscribe. Please hit the notification bell as well so that you will be notified each time I upload a new video. Let's pour our hearts out. Let's pour as a family. Let me pour into your life so that one day you will be able to pour into someone else's life as well. And we continue with this chain link of pouring our hearts out. Okay, so thanks once again for stopping by my channel. I really appreciate the momentum that my channel has gained thus far. And I want to say a warm, heartfelt thank you to everyone who took their time out of their busy schedule to subscribe and watch my video. Much appreciated. Thanks and have a great day. Keep watching. Bye for now. So I'm using three brands of paint. And I would suggest that when you're now starting out, you just work with three paints. You don't need to explore with too many paints because if you don't understand the color wheel, um, th what colors blend well together and what colors to avoid that would make your paint muddy when they're combined together, then my suggestion to you is always start out with just three paints. Make sure one is a white, one could be a black and another color because the black and the white will give you a really nice soft gray. You can also use black, white, gold, black, white, bronze, anything black, white. I would suggest that you start it with those three colors. So today I'm using Liquitex Basic. This is uh, copper. I'm using Deco Art Saddle Satin, satin enamel and also payable pearl um it's kind of a blue and i like that color it is very very vibrant so those are the three colors that i will be using once i mix my pouring medium so once again keep watching so right now i'm going to get started and show you how i mix my pouring medium So this is a half a cup measurement, measuring. This is the PVA glue and half a cup measure. So I'm doing a 50 to 50 ratio right now with the PVA glue and the acrylic paint conditioner.
always make sure you have your bell on, okay? And you're going to stir and stir and stir. for sort of a, when you see honey when you put honey in a spoon and you have it drip that's what you're looking for that kind of a consistency a honey looking or honey feeling consistency so I'm gonna take the liquid test pouring medium and I'm gonna use just quarter of a cup of this you don't need a lot Now the reason why I put that in there because this is a possibility that this combined with the other two ingredients would generate some really nice cells. And if you are familiar with cells, then you know lots of people, they're very, very, very big on producing cells. what I'm looking for. Now the only time that I would add the water is when I add my paint and I'll show you if the consistency appears to be a little bit too thick. I try my possible best not to use water in my paint. I use water in my paint it's going to be like a tablespoon nothing major so that's that so that is what we call the pouring medium with the three ingredients the glue the paint conditioner and this is a substitute for Floetrol because I'm in the UK and I can't get my hands on Floetrol as opposed to when I'm in Canada. I have a supplier that supplies me with it. And then the liquid test pouring medium. I wouldn't encourage you to use the liquid test pouring medium as a beginner because it is very, very, very expensive. So just stick to the, if you can get the PVA glue. And some people use 60% um, PVA glue to 40% water and that makes really a really good pouring medium so if you don't want to expense yourself and if you don't have that kind of money just use a PVA glue and the most popular PVA glue there is on the market is called Elmer's glue all okay I know you can get it from Amazon you can get it from Michaels um, when you're in Canada um, I am in the UK and I would try my possible best to order that from Amazon but right now it is currently unavailable so I picked up this PVA glue from a local store around here and um, I like the results that I got the last time okay so we have our pouring medium and I'll bring you in and show you how I mix my painting so here I have one cup of pouring medium and I'm going to use two ounces of the pebble paint.
This is one cup of the pouring medium. Make sure you shake your pinky. So we'll shake, 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 dun, 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 dun. shake, 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 shake your paint. turn my paint upside down because it's left on I all of it all of it all of it I, I don't want a drop left behind sometimes I leave my paint to set up overnight but keep in mind that that thickens the consistency. So you might have to come back. And I think that's the time when I usually add a little bit of water when I set them up overnight and the paint becomes a little bit thicker than when it was first originally put together. So yeah. go all around the corners, get in the middle, back and forth. See that? This is a great consistency and this paint does not need any water. None at all. Look at that. No water is needed for this paint. But just to show you a little bit, I would just put a little this spoon. See this spoon? That's it. See that? This is all the water that I will put in this. Because I like the consistency. Now stirring the paint creates bubbles. So because it creates bubbles, when you're about to, when you pour your paint, you're gonna need a blow torch. And this takes the bubble out and also encourages the cells to rise from the bottom to the top. So a blow torch is a good idea to have around. Um, this is a chef. The chef used this tool this is a really a chef tool but everybody uses it so it's a good idea to get one from Amazon as well it's called a booting torch so we continue to stir to stir so just in case you didn't see the booting torch here it is there's so much to choose from um, and it is a very good idea to purchase one from Amazon. It really does help encourage the cells to come up and it takes the bubbles out of the paint, okay? So we continue to stir, to stir. And once again, I like that consistency. There we go, there we have it. We have our paint formulated from the PVA glue. The paint conditioner or flow troll. And a 
little bit of liquid text pouring medium. And there we have it. How I mix my paint with the medium. And I like that consistency. So I hope that you were able to take note of that. I'm gonna continue to set up my my paint. I'll mix the other two and then I'll show you for the results of what I'm gonna do with the three colors that I mentioned earlier, the copper, the satin enamel, and this that is already made up, okay?